Good morning. It's uh, day two in Munich, and um, I'm heading to the conference center. But I just want to say something. Yeah, in Ghana, uh, so many of us flex with our BMW, our Benz, you know. But uh, here, it's more like Benz is more like a taxi. Come on, can you believe it? <laughs> I think maybe it's because these cars are made here. So basically, that's why. Um, yeah. So we're just hoping to see Kantanka being a taxi very soon or Innocent Motors being a taxi. Uh, I don't know. It should be one of our luxury vehicles that we turn it into uh, taxis or whatsoever. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate that the president did not show up yesterday. So yeah, come along with me. Um, going there today let's see what happens it's more like a vlog day so yeah let's go as one of the four hosts of this year's msc youtube studio it was a great honor to interview the former president of ghana when um, i was uh, president of ghana and so i was a member of the uh, au authority of african heads of states mm. we prepared the um, uh, protocol for visa free travel in africa we're going to pass it uh, in Kigali. At the last minute, there were objections from, I remember South Africa, but there were two or three countries that objected and said we should delay it until much later. Now, you know what I did? Mm -hmm. I came back to Ghana and I said, well, if the other countries won't pass it, we'll pass it in Ghana. And so I allowed uh, visa-free uh, uh, travel to, for all African passports. You can apply for your visa at the airport. The Minister for Agriculture of Germany. My, my problem is the fact that Ukraine and Russia produces or uh, export wheat to Africa, but Africa got um, the world's 60% arable land. So I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand why can't we feed ourselves, by the way? Well, that's a good question. You have to ask not only me as a Minister for Agriculture in Germany, also <laughs> some of the governments in Africa. Yeah. And of course, also some of the politicians that had responsibility in our side, because for a long time, the idea was we export grain to Africa to feed Africa, but Africa could feed itself if we just give local farmers back the power. If we just remember what used to be produced, there was much more, uh, you know, resilient to the climate crisis using less water than grain from Germany. but. On our side, the problem is that many people in Germany and in Europe think the solution is exports, which sometimes leads to a situation that local farmers in Africa produce more expensive than our sometimes subsidized products that we export to Africa. So we destroy your local markets. Mm -hmm. Then when some people in Africa try to come to Europe as refugees, we tell them we don't want you. So there's a cycle that we have to stop, that we have to end. But to be fair, we also yeah. have to add to that rule of law, fight against corruption. And finally, the Minister of Special Affairs, Wolfgang Smith. I'm from Ghana. The first time I heard that I'm going to speak to Wolfgang, and I'm like, what kind of gang is that? <laughs> Are you part of any gang? Or is this Fortunately a... not, and it's kind of an old-fashioned German name. And my surname is Schmidt, which is even worse. So the combination of Wolfgang Schmidt, if you Google me, you find like thousands of me. I love the fact that Germany has officially acknowledged um, the genocide that um, happened in Namibia. And I just want to take your opinion on this. I mean, Germany offers to pay 1.2 billion mm. for reparation um, in Namibia. What, what do you think about that? And it's going to take like 30 years. Why not now? Because I think awareness grew over the last years. When I was in Hamburg, we started a project because um, Hamburg has a sister city ship um, with Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. And um, people realized because there is some sculptures um, of the so-called Askaris um, that were supporting African troops um, um, at the turn of the century. And uh, there's a bad history of German colonialism, short, um, but not something we should be proud of. And you see the 
traces of colonialism, especially in, the, in a trading hub like Hamburg, everywhere. Be it names of streets, be it um, uh, exhibition items in our museums. And so there was a growing awareness that it's not okay and that we should enter into our dialogue. And the beauty of that sister city ship is that we could work with the, for example, University of Dar es Salaam yeah. and had an historian doing his PhD on the perception of the colonial past of Africa, or in this case of Tanzania, in Hamburg, and a Hamburg um, student doing it in, about the perception in Tanzania. Mm. And then with an incredible professor at the University of Hamburg, we created um, an, a, a research center for colonial past. And so that kicked this debate. And now people obviously started to say, okay, we need to do something to kind of repay um, uh, what we did and the damage we did. It's going to take 30 years. Yeah, that's uh, sometimes how it is. And, and even for a rich country like Germany, it's not so easy to mobilize uh, a billion uh, euros. But I, 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 will, I really want to know how does Germany intend to pay this money within... Does it mean that every year you're going to give them this amount of money? No, I mean, and it's not, it's not only that kind of activity. No, you know, um, we are, I think, number two when it comes to official development okay. um, assistance. And Africa is the main country that receives that um, assistance out of the German budget. Um, and so that is in addition um, to all these official development assistance, what we are doing. But there's a lot of stuff that is also on a cultural level acknowledging what has been stolen. So uh, giving items back to museums, I think that is part of that um, kind of recognition of the wrong that Germany did in the yeah. past. And right after this, it was time to go back to Ghana. Whatever has a beginning has an end. The time has come to an end to head back to Ghana. So yeah, um, basically nothing is happening. Um, it's five o'clock. I have to rush to the airport, even though my flight is nine o'clock. Whenever I travel to a place that I don't know, I always make sure I go to the airport early. Learn this from me and you'll never ever miss your flight. So come along. Um, Let's go to Ghana. If anything happens along the way, I will just let you know. So, yeah. When you go to a new country, if you don't know about the country, you will spend more money on transportation. So one of the reasons why I really want to... Oh my God, I'm at the right place. Jeez, <laughs> I'm lost. You spend more money on transportation, right? So I was like, let me wake up so early and then try the cheapest way to get to the airport. Because going to the airport, it's at 35 minutes. If I use the taxi, probably I'm gonna spend a hundred. Uh, oh my God, no one is here. I'll spend a hundred euros. But if I use a, if I use the subway, I know that I'm gonna spend Almost just 15, but yo, it's a lot of struggle because no one is here. And I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll try and do something. Oh, let me get my ticket. How do I even get a ticket? This is in German. No one is here to even help you. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Oh. I see someone, okay. Hi, one minute. Can you, can you help me get a ticket to the airport? Uh, I don't know. Hi, so, please, can you help me get a ticket to the airport? Oh my God, <laughs> no one wants to help, man. Okay, one, two, three, let me, um, man, it's, it, it's in German. It's in German, you know? Uh, 
God, no. God, this this is in German, right? Is that, is that not? Okay. All right, good. I think I. Let me see if I can get to English. Uh, Bayern. Let me see where I'm going. Munchen. Munchen terminal. Munchen terminal. Munchen terminal. Munchen terminal. Hi. Hello. Please, can you help me get a ticket? Um, I'm going to Munchen Terminal. This one. Oh, it's, it's not working. This one. This one. Where do I put this? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, the card. Okay. Only go. Yeah, only go. Yeah, good. Bye-bye. Yes, yes. uh, uh. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, my God, man. Oh, how can tickets be in German, you know? Better if you better come out, man. I'll kill you if you don't come out. Okay, finally. The ticket is here. Can I have my card? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. Off we go. It's like 13. It costs like 13 euros, man. So instead of using 100 euros to go to the airport, I'll use 13 euros to go to the airport. It's the same thing, same time. So come along, let's go. I'm here, now I need to look for the exact number that I'm supposed to take to the airport. So looking for the exact number that I need to take to the airport because there, there are different trains, right? So you need to look for uh, a particular train that goes to where you're going because I, I know these things because I've lived in China before that's why I just want to give it a try and see and uh, the German transportation system uh, how it's like so I don't know if you guys can see the notification board the S8 I don't understand the Flugaha fan but I see an airport right there which comes in the next 13 minutes and it's gonna be like S8 so yeah, I think I'm at the right place. Um, I'm at the right place, so let me just hang around. So you see X7. You'll get so confused when you see so many trains. You might end up I mean, entering a wrong train. So I think you need to check like S1, S3, X7, X6, S2, whatever, X8. Then uh, my train arrives in 30 minutes. So I just need to be here, sit down wait for s8 that goes directly to the airport man wow so which means a new train comes in every 20 minutes you see wow. we came to the other side Four. It's, wow. Oh my God, that's it. This is, uh, this is to the airport? Oh my God, shit. Okay. That's a, is that opening? Oh my God, okay. Ah. Yeah, eight. eight. Oh my god, I entered the wrong train, man. 
After that sword, S8. I'm so disappointed. I have to sit here 20 more minutes. So it's uh, 6 o'clock. So I have to be at the airport by 7. So I still have time. So it's going to take 35 minutes to get to the airport. But I still have 20 minutes to waste because it's so cold and I don't know why. and do better next time. So I'm doing better next time. And it's good that you make mistakes in life, man. So, wow. Whoa. Finally. Train, man. from the information board that uh, I need to go to Terminal D for my boarding pass. Let's go. Uh, C or D. Man, the struggle of, the struggles of being in a huge airport, man. This is crazy. This is C. I need to look for D. D is still this. Gotta go through it. Bro, that's a long distance, man. I'm not gonna walk. Yeah, let me go get my boarding pass. You believe that I went for like 20 minutes to get here, man. The airport is huge, man. So yeah, I'm even early now. So I have to be here for another two hours. My flight was actually 9.55, not 9 o'clock. As I told earlier, so yeah, just have to sleep here, wait till departure. so sleepy and at the same time extremely tired i think i slept on the whole flight from um munich to amsterdam and uh, i'm here in amsterdam bro so what i'm doing right now is to go look for the boarding gates from accra uh, from amsterdam to ghana bro i'm so tired i don't even feel like vlogging right now uh gate e <sighs> where is this gate e? this is d um, yeah, he's still forward. You see? So, he's still forward. And here we go, so, yeah. Let's go. I just can't wait to get back home and sleep for a whole day, man. Traveling once again is extremely stressful. I know, like, most of you will be like, hey, I want to travel, I want to travel. Ah. <laughs> uh, this is a fast food travel for a job. Ah, it's not easy. <laughs> what's it mean? 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 What's Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Yeah. <laughs> Great, good yeah. to see you. Nice right. to see you also. <laughs> I watch you all the time, man. Eh? Wow, where are you from? I'm from Guinea. Hello, my brother. Hi. Can I get help? Of course, why not? Thank you for everything that you are doing. You make me so proud Aww. to be a Ghanaian woman. Oh. Right. That's, that's F7 is there. 
Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not going to Nigeria. She got lost. So I had to bring oh, her. Oh, you know. I, I thought I, I saw you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I went to a wrong place. So oh, okay. Me. Did I tell you? <laughs> he said, God bless me. I did not know where to go. <laughs> it's a good life. Now, Piggy, I saw that woman like say he's proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm proud to be African in Ghana as well. <laughs> 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 nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're going to Lagos? Yeah, yeah uh huh. So, so this is our seat. Please, uh -huh. I just want to be. Make sure yeah. she's okay. No. okay right. sit down. Yeah. Now, now you're okay now, eh? God bless you. Oh, God bless you, mommy. <laughs> okay. okay, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so I need to now go look for my gates. No, I'll see you one day like this, man. Ah, come on, I'm good. I'm proud of you, brother. How oh. things go, man? Good. You Watch from? you all the time, Nigeria. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, yeah. all more Niger. You all should vote wisely if you are going back home. <laughs> vote wisely, thank you. Uh, I live, I live in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just um doing a vlog of going back home uh, okay. and then i i met the woman she said she's lost uh, okay. so i had to That's so good. hey right, now nah, okay see all right, all right oh my goodness so i met the old lady she was lost and she's like please i'm looking for f9 and i'm like okay if i don't take her there yes. i know she won't see where it is so i had to just take her to F9 which is so far from my gate so now I'm rushing back to where I'll be taking my flight man. What to open a fish pond no? that fish thing that you start talking about fish farm fish farm yeah, yeah. I want to open some in Ghana no? I've gathered some money to go open them because I watched the content from you that's a great one, man. That's so a great I saw one. you, I said, let me come and greet you because I get the inspiration from you. <laughs> so I said, make I come and greet you. Thank you. What yeah. you are doing, eh, don't stop it. Eh? You are opening our eyes, especially we that we were born in Europe. We are seeing things in Africa that we thought that it was not there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but yeah. I just want to tell you that thank you so much for listening to an yeah. village boy like me. Yeah. And I'm so glad you're going back home to invest, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Because I followed you and I love what you are doing. I love what you are doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. People at our age love you. Thank so you. that's my message to you. Continue doing it, God. And God will bless you. Okay? Amen. Amen. My brother. My son. One love. One love. Wow, so he's telling me that because of the videos, he's going back to Ghana to invest in fish farming. You know, messages like this keeps me going. Let me know in the comment section, what are you doing? What, what impact has my video made in your life? Like I always tell you, don't watch these videos because I struggle a lot to bring you guys these videos. All right. So Tony Megabush is here. We got our bread in here in case of emergency. We have bread to grab. Tony, chop. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. You, 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 you'll be our driver for today. <laughs> All right. This is how the work is, man. You, you watch a 10-minute video. So we have to step out at night. You can't even see anything. Can you guys see me? I'm so dark to the extent I can only see my teeth. Tony, come. Let me see. Switch off the lights. Switch off the lights. <laughs> Who do you see now? Do you see Tony? <laughs> <laughs> so don't take it for granted do something let these videos inspire you to be out there go out there and be great Africa needs you the, sol the problems of Africa needs people like you to solve it uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for the plane I didn't want to go and sit there because I'm so tired and I know that if I go there people will come and say hi Maya hi Maya so <laughs> I had to come and sit somewhere and still people are coming. Where are you guys coming from? Yeah, my guy. From Germany. From Germany? Yeah. Oh. Norway. Norway? Yeah. Germany. <laughs> These are German buggies. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I go to Germany for holidays. Holidays? <laughs> hey, you two go holidays or you stay there? No, I, was, I was schooling there, but I'm done with school now, so I have to be in Ghana. Right? Hey. Yeah. This guy there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's, he doesn't look like a student. <laughs> Real horse. <laughs> Nice one, man. Yeah, 
So we, we are going to Ghana, man. Right? Sure, so sure, Ghana sure, boys. Sure. Ghana yeah. boys. Charlie. Oh my oh my uh, it's nice good to see you, you all nice man. Thanks you. for the support, nice man. I really, support. really appreciate it. Of course, man. of course, of course. No busy. The YouTube yeah. hustle, man. We're gonna share with the push up. Yeah. We're gonna share with the push up. That'd be all. Make you watch this guy. Of course. Make you watch him. He's really doing a good job. Seriously. Now, like Africa. How before like the mentality, you know? Yeah. It's changing. Seriously. It's changing, yeah. Unlike exactly. before, unlike before. How exactly. is Africa like that? Now like globally everybody is seeing how things are Africa is a safe place. I mean you need to come home wherever you are, just come home. Yeah. Come visit and then you know, explore, explore. Yeah. We go push ups. Yeah. Explore, explore, <laughs> explore. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Come oh, explore, yes. man. Come explore, explore, explore of course. Yeah. I think yeah. you've given us a broader perspective okay, about the continent. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Something five. more different I'm from right what the mainstream media has always I mean, has always portrayed. Okay. So we're really grateful for what you do. All right. right. See, so many Ghanaians in Europe. Ghana, Ghana. So yeah, many Ghanaians. So many Ghanaians. So ah, that's, that's cool, man. <laughs> okay, at least we're all going back home. Back home. Okay. Whoa, the feeling of going back home is unexplainable, man. Jeez, man. I can't wait to go and eat my fufu, my fried rice, my Ghana jollof, my fried plantain. Here I come. Jeez, man. I'm just tired of eating these beggars and chips and stuff like that. Ghana, I mean, one of the things that I always miss about Ghana, anytime I travel, is the food. So yeah, I'm going back home and I'm super excited. Let's go to Ghana together.